So a few days ago I started a Q&A on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel, so um, let's get into the questions, guys. First one is from Super Ranas, whose work has influenced you the most? And I would say Christian Mate Grab, of course. If you don't know, go check him out. He's a German photographer and video filmmaker. He has a very cute and a quaint sense of aesthetic. His colors are always a spot on, his aperture. He's more of a running on filmmaking. He doesn't obey the rules of shutter speeds and everything. He just does it all by heart. What he thinks is aesthetic, he does it. So he's a very good inspiration. In photography, Alan Pelander is my go-to. Of course, his profile, you all know him. You know I'm a big fan of him. He's, in, he's amazing. And also he comes from an architectural background, so I can relate to him. And then, Maybe Peter McKinnon and Mati Hapuya, all, all of those people that teach us a lot of things through their tutorials. It's always inspiring. They show us that it can be done. Yeah, that normal people can do it. We don't need any degree to do it. So yeah, I would say those guys. So this next question from Nere Holanda, it's in Spanish, but I'm gonna answer it in English because it's a common question. Uh, re camera recommendations for beginners. Yeah, for beginners, I started off with the Sony A6500, but I would always recommend to start off from full frame. You don't need to use APS-C as a step. Yeah, in full frame you get a better dynamic range, better low light performance, and you don't have a crop factor. And sometime in your career you're gonna have to, or wanna want to upgrade to a full frame for a more professional look. So I would always recommend for a full frame. I can only talk about Sony or Canon, I don't know anything about Olympus, Fujifilm and Nikon. Maybe in Sony, I would go for the A7 series, maybe the A7 III. That's an incredible camera. If not, go a bit, la a bit down to the A7 IIs. Those cameras are fantastic. And in Canon, I would go for the 6D to start off with. It's a full frame camera. It's very good. It's the successor to the 5D Mark IV. And yeah, I would go for those guys. But if I had to say anything, uh, just start off with what, what you can, what you can afford. You can even start with a cell phone. I can always say it, photography and filmmaking isn't about the gear. It's more about your creativity to take the shots and to show us what you're looking, what you're looking and what you see through your eyes. That's the importance of creating videos and photographs. So this next question is in Spanish from Pinamon. He's asking about my favorite places to travel or my travel destinations. I'm going to answer him in Spanish because he asked in Spanish. Pinamon, eh, me encantaría ir a Alberta, Canadá, ver las rockies montañosas a Parque Nacional de Banff. Esos lugares se ven increíbles en todos los videos y fotos que veo. Por Estados Unidos me gustaría dar un recorrido, es tan diverso. Por supuesto ir de mochilero a Europa, las ciudades son fantásticas, pero también los Alpes, me gustaría ir a los Alpes. Y en cosas más raras me gustaría ir a Medio Oriente, más que nada a, la, a los pequeños pueblos de Irak, de Irán. Sé que es muy difícil viajar allá, viajar a Samarcanda, a ver los palacios de Damasco, todas esas ciudades me encantan, me encantan, a mí me gusta mucho la historia y, y son lugares llenos de historia. De ahí quiero ir a las playas de las Filipinas, de Indonesia, sí, todo eso es fantástico. Y por supuesto también a Sudamérica, eh, ya fui a Colombia alguna vez, a Bogotá, y me encantó y me gustaría recorrer eh, un poco de Chile y Argentina. So Davila is asking me if I have any presets. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on my own presets, perfecting them so they're available for you guys. So soon, soon I'll launch it. Yeah. Jose Eduardo is asking me why I don't do videos in Spanish anymore. I'm gonna answer him in Spanish. Um, el Jose Eduardo, intento hacerlos en ambos idiomas. Este último mes sé que me concentré en inglés, pero es que estaba atrasado en varios temas que no había hecho. Eh, me había concentrado en español y ahora mucho en inglés. Voy a intentar hacer uno y uno, ¿sale? Espero que, que le responda. Porque tengo una comunidad angloparlante por mitad y la otra mitad es hispanohablantes. Entonces, pues tengo que hacer ambos. Eh, recuerden, si no ven el video en español o, o en inglés, pueden checar las playlists y ahí vienen todos los de español y todos los de inglés. Para que no me estén escribiendo en cada video. ¿Por qué no haces en inglés? ¿Por qué no haces en español? Les digo, ya está hecho en español. Solo chequen los playlists, ¿no? Okay. So Nicholas is asking me best or favorite camera for photography. Two thousand dollars as a budget. Now two thousand dollars is a lot of money. It depends. Do you have lenses? If you have lenses already, I would go for the Sony A7 III. 
that's a very good camera if you don't I will go for the a7R2 now the R series in Sony is dedicated to photography so it has a 42 and a half megapixel sensor so that's incredible for all kinds of photography high pixel count you can even print them a large scale format and you're still left with $1,200 that you can spend in maybe two prime lenses maybe a wide angle maybe a 20 millimeter from Sigma and maybe an 85 yeah also you can spend them in a 24 to 70 from Sigma 2.8 aperture it's a very good lens you, at wide open you can use it for landscape photography and closed up at 70 you can use it for portraits so yeah I will go for those so Tico is asking me what should I be looking for when I purchase a used camera yeah you said it you said it all you should be looking for all those things uh, the same specs that you would be looking into when you're buying a new camera um, always remember that bodies tend to get a lot of beating more than lenses so I would I would always recommend to buy a new body and some used lenses the lenses have uh, a very good quality and they last for years you can buy them and they're gonna work perfectly the bodies do take a lot of beating so you never know how they use the a body of a lens so purchased cameras I wouldn't go for very old cameras I would go for maybe a step back from the ones that are right now on the market so you can make sure that they're not very old so for example the Sony's Sony is now releasing the a7S 3 and the a7R's R4's so I would go for maybe the a7 II's in Canon I would go for maybe a 5D Mark IV so always a very good and reliable camera and maybe the 1DX yeah those are very good cameras when buying cameras any kind of camera depends if you're looking into photography I always look for a high pixel count if you're looking for videography the lower pixel count the better the autofocus is going to perform and better in low light it's going to be yeah so this last question is in Spanish and it's a very deep one from Sebas he's a great follower of my work he supports me a lot so Sebas ¿Qué es lo que te inspira para tomar fotografías y videos como las haces? Wow, eh, lo que me inspira, pues ya dijimos los artistas y creadores que me inspiran. Ahora, lo que más me motiva todos los días, aparte de ver películas, eh, series, es la idea de poder sustentar mi vida haciendo algo que a mí me gusta. Mira, por años yo trabajé en un trabajo de, de Godín y, y es horrible trabajar de nueve horas incluso más de la noche me demandan mucho más aquí en México te demandan que te pongas la camiseta como dicen y, y desvelar y perder pelo y morir de estrés todo el tiempo para trabajar en algo que odias para pasar tu fin de semana dos días a la semana en algo que te gusta o para poder ahorrar tus vacaciones a las siete días a la semana entonces eso no me parece justo no me parece que la vida es suficientemente larga para gastarla en tanta tontería entonces prefiero lo que me motiva más es hacer algo que me gusta y vivir de ello entonces la fotografía y video es, es mi salida para eso es mi opción para poder hacer lo que yo quiero que es tomar fotos y video por supuesto y tratar de vivir de ello eso es lo que más me inspira y me motiva todos los días pero bueno hablando de, de otras cosas más mundanas eh, sí eh, los artistas que ya mencioné Christian Mategra, Valen Palander, Peter McKinnon todos esos eh, aparte de eso, ver películas, me encanta ver películas eh, Netflix, me encanta ver las series originales de Netflix, por ejemplo Dark Y he notado ahora que veo las series de una manera distinta A como antes, ahora antes solo las veía y me desconectaba del mundo Y ahora lo que intento es analizar todo, analizo los colores, analizo los, la toma Qué apertura usaron, qué colores usaron, los sonidos que metieron entonces lo empiezo a ver todo desde otro punto y eso me inspira mucho porque me estoy dando cuenta de cosas que no son tan complicadas pero que a la gente le gusta porque es la estética del cine, ¿no? Entonces son cosas que yo intento aprender y replicar. Entonces para todos, eh, para ti Sebas y para todo el mundo, eh, cuando vean la siguiente película, hagan eso, chequenla, chequen lo que están viendo y analicen un poco más, no solo lo vean por ver. So guys, now there's a lot of mosquitoes right now. I'm gonna end it right here. So that's my first Q&A. Uh, I liked it. I liked. I tried to respond to all the questions that you sent me. I'm very thankful for that we're just over 8,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. I don't know where all of you people come from, but I'm very thankful for this community that we're creating and hoping that we keep growing. Yeah. I always like to respond to comments, to create videos that are useful to you guys and that uh, help you, help you like a lot of other creators help me. So that's my main goal. So that's it guys, thanks for watching.